Alright, what is up everyone? Rav, aka Boosted Betty here. We're on the PvE. We're doing the 2v2v2v2 game mode, and I am duo queuing with Heisman tonight. We are off comms. It's late. We're literally playing this game for fun, which I know is a super rare thing to hear about League lately from any content creator. Uh, we've discovered what I think is the most OP 2v2v2 comp right now in the game. Um, you're going to see how insanely easy it is to be terrible at the game and still destroy. So I'm on MF. He's playing Malphite. We're making a play for the Flowers because we're against uh, Asol, who, from what I read, is... Like, if you Google right now, today, what is the best champ in 2v2v2v2, you'll see Asol. I don't know why. Maybe he's, like, Giga Mobile. He could throw up on shit. I don't I have no idea. Anyways, we're against him, and what is this? Yone, and who I'm seeing like every game, who does good damage and everything, but anyways, the the early first round or two before you guys have your alts uh, is can be a little rough, but luckily we're against the wind shitter who is like third third timing this game ever. Uh, so we're kind of just autoing and you know doing our things. But yeah, it's uh once you get to round three, I think when you get your alt, it is dirty. So anyways, this is not a live comms because we were neither of us were even on comms um so i'm doing a voiceover afterwards and yeah we pulled off round one you can see highs is like what were they doing and i was like sucking some butt and yeah it all goes it only goes downhill for everyone else after you get your all it's kind of ridiculous mm, I'm trying to think what i went here i i'm still at the point where i don't know like how early to use my rerolls because I think you only get two per game. And I would say the majority of my games, I leave like one or two rerolls on the table. I don't even know why. Uh, it's almost like I'm treating them like ARAM rerolls at this point. But yeah, I th I'm going to go for like a Lethality Bursty build this game. Because Heise is going to go for uh, a straight alt. I'll take your ass game. Round two, we're in Lilia's Taint here. I think the game plan for me was to literally let highs take all the damage, control mid, try to get the plant, and then mukbang. Mukbang the master Yi. I'm trying to alter my auto attacks here. Shaco's going invisible. I'm seeing a lot of Shaco's too, like almost every round, because like he can ult like two, three times in a game, and then it's like you're always playing guess who. But the very nice, the very nice. I got Vanish. And I'm all like, stall this shit because I want it to be off cooldown by the next round. So I want this round to go longer. You see like 200 IQ strats already, which probably is stupid because you have 30 seconds in between rounds anyway. And I think the cooldown is only 30 seconds. So maybe I'm just being a, a doofus over here. Are you 41 seconds in between rounds? But anyways, I thought Vanish would be really good because if I do end up getting focused over him, I can just Vanish, reposition, and then get my ult out. Clearly, we're we're not on the same page here because I don't even know what he's talking about when he says fixed. It's early in the game mode. We don't know what is working, what is a load of bullshit right now. The other thing that I started doing, I don't know, if, I think I did it after this game because MF has movement speed, is I think it's fair to always buy your boots at this point. Because... If you're waiting for the next round to be able to buy an item, you're going to be able to get the item regardless of if you get boots or not because of how much gold you get from this. Anyways, we got our alts now, so this is where you're about to witness why this comp is so good. Um, we just kind of like dance around, do nothing, play guess who's the Faco, who's the Shaco. I had to vanish because I didn't want to get focused. Uh, and then bada bing, a bada boom. We got our flash from one. That was... And I'm not kidding, that was the, the least clean of any of these that we're going to get. As you see, I take the Pissy Plant right into the Shaco Clown Fest. She's trying to alt me. I'm waiting for Malphite to just to finally catch up to her because she has like four health. And then, yeah, I'm kind of running around like a, a, a headless chicken here. I don't know if... Sh I think Shaco is going AP because after his like initial shivy, he like does absolutely nothing to me. But yeah, look, Vanish again. Vanish, I think if you're playing a Marksman, is like the most OP summoner you, you can take. 
Like, that was, that was, like, kind of an intense late round. I, like I said, Shaco played it well. I call it like I see it. But, yeah, look, I have 5,100 gold. So, even if I would have spent 1,000 gold on my boots last round, I would have been able to buy an item, you know? So, always get the boots. And now I have Eclipse, which will be good. I bought it literally thinking if we get in a little, you know, a little bit of a tussle, I'll have a nice little shield with burst. Otherwise, uh, it's still good, a good money maker. And so, yeah, we're undefeated. We're the only undefeated team. If you see on the right side, we have 20 points. That's how many points you start with. Everyone else has died at least one time. We both have zero deaths. I'm 3-0-3. Oh, Highs is also 3-0-3. We're back in Lilia's Taint with the Giga set round, so until we set something up, all I want to do is get set to punch the Yone, and then bam. Look, look how useless Yone was there. He, I don't think he got a single ability off. Now I'm just going to let set kill the dragon. Kill the dragon. Nice. See how easy that was? I guess because Heise is taking AP, I like literally didn't look at his health at all, but it did get low occasionally, but four rounds down. We're both 4 0 and 4, 0 deaths. Second round of cards coming in. At this point, I thought mm, maybe the burn sounds good, but I wanted that shit. I wanted that goose shit. Eyes is now humongous. And the A Soul team with the Yone is in the bot. We have two Shakos in this round. Itty would it eat. In a master E. All I want to do is is wait it out and bam. Look, what did the master E do in that round? Because it wasn't a whole lot. You just bum rush in, alt one of them, double alt one of them, master E dead on the ground. See, I'm playing strat strategy here. I'm like, big cat turd, eat your plant, get your health, eat from the tree of everlasting life. I don't know what Shaco's game plan was, but he was quite stalling a lot. Eyes of Livered Alt again. In the very first round, I don't know if you guys saw this, but I had like an instant alt cooldown reset, and I still don't know why. I ulted in that round, and then like 10 seconds later in that round, I was able to alt again. I don't think I did, because I'm an idiot, but... Literally, if you go back to the first round that I had my alt, it, it like didn't go off cooldown, I think, if I remember. Anyways, now second place has 14 health and we still have 20. We have, neither of us have died yet. It isn't even like we lost a round. We have not even died. Now we're in Dogville. I don't like the dog rounds. I've, I seem to always get hit by them like that. But th this clearly went well for them, huh? This was, this was clearly a good round for them. Like, how broken is this cop? Look, Heiz is down there in chat, like... Definitely one hand in it. We were playing, like, a bunch of comps all night trying to figure shit out. That's why we're both, like, crazy shocked that this simple comp is working that well. We were doing meme things like... Zillion, Trindamir, thinking, like, undiable comp, but, like, the, a lot of comps, what I'm finding, are, like, memeable. Like, the Poppy video I made yesterday. It's so funny when you get the poppy alt and you knock him out, but like outside of that, it doesn't have a whole lot of value. This is like raw, easy Ws, like nothing more to it. And dodging the prismatic lux in the middle. Good bait, highs, good bait. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna play it slow. He got hit by a lux. I popped the PC plan. I don't want anyone surprising me. Faco, Faco clowns are really easy to uh, to juke out in this game mode. That Yi was not going to be crawling in my anus. I'm tiny for some reason. Doesn't really matter. See, that was two Shaco alts in a row. In case you guys saw. Where'd he come from? Where'd he go? Where is that little Shaco? It, it seems like every round is like a, just a Shaco like waiting, waiting to get killed after his teammate got like absolutely pussy plastered. And there it is. Round 8, another easy round. We still have 20. The other people have 8 and 6. It's gross. It's gross. I didn't want to do anything about when your partner dies or when your partner is low in health because it's all about the wombo, the combo. So I figured a little bit of crit will be 
dank money memes. Because I have two crit items, so... You know. It's enough. I don't really auto a whole lot, but... It would be dank if there was, like, an affix that was, like, your alt can crit. Like, your little alt waves. But yeah, you know. I still don't know why I'm so tiny, but... It is what it is. We're spectating this round. You can see how buggy the replay system is. No one has health bars. I'm over here thinking, like, did I did I do this setting? But then the, the Faco Shaco who's running in place had a health bar, so... All my fears went away. It's so hard without health bars to see, like, what's going on. You know? It, it looks like I'm trying to do, like, a cinematic replay, but in reality, it just... No, right. It's good old health bars. They're good old client. Two teams remaining. Clearly, the, Ka the Caitlyn Shaco team didn't do too well. I've yet to see a Caitlyn, like, do well in this game mode. I don't, I don't think it's a good game mode for certain marksmen like that. Give me the Shilbo. I went Shilbo, and then I listened to the comments. I actually sold my starting item so I could get a real item, and I went GA. I figured now people aren't going to want to focus me. Highs is enormous now. He somehow, despite going full AP, has almost 5k health because he got a good affix. Back in Lilius Taint against the team that hasn't done jack shit against us. On this one, I bum-rushed the set every time. Figured he tells us where the enemy is at the very least. Ooh, Shaco coming in. Throw the club. Get another one of these out. Look at this. Look at this dam. I couldn't get up there in time because... Uh, I was dealing with a little bit of a fake out of my anus, but it didn't seem to matter. Easy peasy. Don't even know why I vanished there. I didn't want to get like shiv shanked up the shank hole, you know what I mean? And now it's only two remaining. The A Sol Yone and the undefeated Deathless Bros. Look, I'm 9, 0, and 6. Zero deaths. It's so broken. At this point, we're like, if we if we pull this final round, we literally will pull the first perfect round. I don't know about you guys. I've yet to have a round where I haven't lost like a full 20, let alone not dying at all. So we're down there, you know, chit-chatting like high school girls, thinking how how dope our lives will be if we if we pull off the perfect round in a in a tester server temporary game mode. But you know, it was enough to make me not go to bed until late. So here we are. I sold boots. I'm thinking big whoop. I want to get alted by the Yone. He alted the Asol. The Asol is now eliminated from my site. I literally did nothing there other than uh, target dummied that and then vanish. Yone wants to do bad things to me, which he is. Thank God I've sold my starter item, bought a GA. Am I right or am I right, boys? He's now GA'd. We're thinking, let's play this slow. You know, suck on the li lily of everlasting life and bam, wombo combo. With the beautiful victory screen. He doesn't even want to look at the camera. He's like, don't show my face. And yeah. MF Malphite, guys. Perfect comp. Zero deaths. Amazing. Rev out.